All right, now this time our opponent is very slick, very crafty with their buggy strangles. We feel confident that we've gotten around the side pin circumstances and we're like, all right, I'm in north-south. What could happen? A buggy strangle. So, I'm here with Tony. Scoot, scoot this way, Tony. We just got around the side pin. I feel good. I'm like, I got around this guy's buggy strangles and what can he do to me? We're in a dominant pin, so we think. Boom, I get here. Tony pushes my head to the outside and now what's happening? My arm and head are gonna be in between his arm and leg. So now when he gets the position, we're stuck in a, in a north-south buggy. Go for the finish time. Terrible. What am I gonna do? From here, I, my, his head is in between my two knees. So what I need to do is my left knee pushes into his head, my right leg sprawls back here so that my right knee can come in front of his head like so, or to the side of his head. Now, I'm gonna use my right knee to push him towards my right as my head goes to the left. And we look to break out of the position. What's happening is I use my left leg as a post leg to drive his head in one direction while my head goes in the opposite direction. And it's all about gaining vertical posture, looking to pop, uh, pop out of this leg entanglement situation that he has, or this arm and leg entanglement situation he has around my head and shoulders. And from here, we're free, not susceptible to being finished. And maybe we can be a little bit more mindful of just keeping our head in the center line. What Tony needs is to push my head to the outside. What I want whenever I'm here is to just keep my head glued. So when he goes to push me, I should be very mindful of what he's trying to do with his arm. Maybe I take my, go back Tony, T turn this way. Maybe as he's pushing my head, I, re I meet, push my head with your right arm. I meet it with some kind of, push, 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 push. I meet it with some kind of resistance. And from here, I can start taking my right knee across and start pinning. But at the very least, what I don't want is my head going towards the outside where now, if I'm unaware, I might get finished. So let's look at it again <coughs> from this perspective. Tony, turn this way. Yep. We're in north-south. Tony pushes my head. And now we're in the north-south buggy. From here, I push with my left knee inside and I expand my right leg back until my right leg is on his left shoulder. Post your left leg out. Push with your right leg. Left hand plants, push in this direction as you look to separate your head going in the opposite direction. Again, vertical posture is very important. Some kind of posture is really important. And what we're trying to do is either get his head going in one direction as we go in the opposite direction or isolating his head with some kind of wedge, wedging his head in place while we uh, isolate the upper body, we get our upper body away, we disassemble the wedges around our head and shoulder, and we're free.